outside this world. Hey guys, welcome to another Anon Grinning video. So let's kick this straight off. Basically, I'm going to be showing you how to stream your Xbox One to your Surface Pro 4 and the overall quality of that stream. So without further ado, here is my specs and my setup. So here is the Surface Pro 4 itself. This is the i5 256GB SSD 8GB RAM model. Uh, in here we have our Xbox One controller plugged in. I was surprised you do have to plug it in. It's not wireless considering all the VR Windows integration Microsoft are going for. So here's the Xbox and let me just show you it running uh, with a screen cap. So in the Xbox app you want to go down to the bottom left and select the stream button to start your stream. So basically this will load you on whatever your Xbox One is currently on. So mine's currently on the home screen so it's loading me into the home screen. So what I'm going to do now just to show you the overall quality of the stream is to load up Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and select a game of zombies. I'm going to load in four times each with different qualities of streaming. So the four selected ones low, medium, high, very high. Uh, these are the only four qualities you can have so this will give you analysis of all of them. So this is it in low. Low the quality isn't great. It looks good on the Surface Pro 4 screen because of course this is a high resolution screen. But overall lots of the corners on stuff are jagged, lots of textures are missing etc. There is a massive step up you will see when we go into medium there's a quite a huge difference and then that is the most substantial difference compared to going from low, medium. It's a lot more than when you go from medium to high or high to very high. So this is it in medium. Basically I'm going to leave you to decide on what you think the stream qualities look like. I just want to run you through how good this is on my connection. So I'm the sort of guy who will load up Steam or try and download something and it will go at 300 kilobits per second. But according to this infograph at the bottom, apparently I'm getting 10 megabits per second. So if you feel that you've got a bad internet connection because you get uh, low download speeds, it really won't affect you because it's streaming on your broadband, on your bandwidth. So I'm somebody who gets has terrible connection in this rural area, but I seem to be able to stream fine on very high with absolutely no issues really. The occasional bit of lag, but literally minimal, it will not affect gameplay. Uh, and another benefit of streaming to your Surface Pro 4 is if you can't afford a game capture device and you want to save video clips for YouTube in a high quality, you can st stream to your Surface Pro 4, press Windows G and record your Surface Pro screen on very high, which is a really high quality video, and just save bits of gameplay like that. That will give you high quality of videos. You won't be limited to the five minute max you can get on the Xbox One at 480p. The only thing I wouldn't recommend is playing multiplayer while streaming. Basically it feels like there's delay between pressing a button on your controller and it actually doing the action. This is a lot more obvious in multiplayer, it's not so much in single player that it's obvious. So you will feel like you're dying a lot more because you can't react to situations. But apart from that, the streaming is excellent and I'm going to leave you there. So I hope you enjoy streaming, if you've got a Surface Pro 4, enjoy it, it's a quality device. But thanks for watching, subscribe, like and everything, goodbye.